This is Joe from He Said, She Said, and I just want you to know right now that whatever you're going through, it's going to be all right. I know it doesn't look like it's supposed to look. I know that you've been through so much. I know you feel like quitting. Have you ever felt like quitting at life? Am I talking to somebody out there that's feeling like this is it? I don't want to live another day. I want to encourage you that as much as the situation is getting frustrating, as much as the situation wants you to give up, don't give up. Don't give up because you're living your life for more than just you. There's people around you that's looking at the situations that you're going through. There's people around you that is rooting for you. Either they're literally rooting for you or they're rooting for you by praying for you. They may not tell you, hey, I'm praying for you, but they're praying for you. There's somebody, there's your grandmother, your mother, there's somebody in your family that is praying for you right now and they don't want you to give up. And I'm telling you right now that it does not pay for you to give up. Hang in there. Reach out to people. Reach out to me. I'm on this thing on and off throughout the day. I post videos as God gives me the word and he's giving me something right now to tell you. Do not give up. There's a lot of people out here right now that may be uh, doing better than you. I don't like to use that word, but a lot of times we, as much as we don't want to, if we're on social media, we are comparing our success with somebody else's success. And if someone is more successful, we're trying to find out how they got successful and we're trying to do the very thing that made them successful. But have we considered that the thing that made them successful is not the thing that will make you successful? Do you think that everyone has the same formula to get to where they need to be in life? If that were the case, why aren't we the same person? Do not compare your life with someone else's. This is not a race to see who gets to the finish line. It's to see that each one of us gets to the finish line. We don't have to get there at the same time. We just have to finish our own race. And the more that we look at everyone else's race and see how they're striding or how they're not getting tired at certain parts of the race, we're slowing ourselves down because we're starting to look to our left, we're starting to look to our right, we're starting to look behind us, we're starting to look too far ahead. That's why we're, we're coming up with certain conditions. We're, we're being anxious or we're being depressed because we are taking the weight of things on us or things are getting on us and weighing us down and it's not things that we're intended to carry. We don't have the capacity to hold these things. I don't have the capacity to worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. I just got to get through today. I can't worry about what I was because what I was is what, what I was, but it's not who I am. God has already forgiven you for the things that you've asked forgiveness for, that you've turned away from. So how long are you going to hold that on? Hold on to that. It's dead weight. Is it easier to cross the finish line by yourself or have someone on your back? And if that person on you is dead, meaning the things from your past is on your back, then how is that benefiting you? How is that making it easier? It's not. It's making it harder. It's making it more difficult. So what are you going to do? Are you going to continually look at situations, compare yourself, and decide to throw in the towel on life? Listen, there's a lot of life to live. There's a lot that life has to offer. And there's a lot that, more importantly, you have to offer life. There's people around you right now that need you. They need to hear your story. They need to hear what you're going through right now. And I know it's not popular to do this on social media, but it's time for us to be a little more vulnerable. It's time for us to open up. We want to be open books. We want, we want to date people who are open books, but we only want a few pages of our own to be open. We can't, uh, it, this doesn't, at this point of our life, we cannot have that double standard because you are what you attract. How can you expect to attract a person that's going to be open if you're not willing to be open? It is painful. It's like opening a clam. Sometimes you have to get some tools to open up the clam, but once you open up the clam, that's where the goodness is inside. There's goodness inside of you, but if you snuff that out, if you give up on life right now, no one will ever get to see it. No one will ever get to see the sunshine that you have to offer because there's a light inside of you after your rain, if you quit in the middle of the storm. So I don't know who I'm talking to, 
when I first hit record, I wasn't even intending on talking about this, but this was something that stirred in my spirit so heavily, I could barely hit the record button because there's so many people that have given up on life that should have or could have or would have heard this, but either someone didn't want to say it, didn't feel like they should say it on social media, or the person didn't get the message for any particular other reason other than what I just described. And I want to give you the opportunity to hear this tonight. Do not give up. It is late. It is. It feels like you can't go another moment. But I'm encouraging you. Do not give up. And if you need to reach out to anybody, even if I don't know you personally, some of you I don't know personally, reach out to me. Because I, I would hate for you to give up and not feel like you have an option versus give you an option and let you decide what to do. So what you going to do? I'm telling you not to give up, but it all comes down to what you want to do.